for another video. This is on my uh, on my uh, wife's Honda Odyssey. I, I'll insert a link or a uh, I'll insert the clip. What this the problem I'm fixing? This uh, when it's cold, this car squeals a lot, uh, and it's the power steering here. Um, Basically, what's happened is on certain years of the, this particular engine or Hondas, when they've got this power steering set up, the O-rings, after they age, decide to get real, real uh, um, brittle. And so they don't seal as well, and it lets the air into the system and cavitation happens, especially on cold days. So um, what it is is that... There is an O-ring that's here. You get to it, there's a 10 millimeter bolt under the bottom. This will be the hardest part here. You can only get to it with a box wrench. And then there's another, uh, uh, these two bolts to get to the other O-ring. The O-ring here will be like an orange color. Uh, at least it should be. If it's not, it's uh, older and it's brown, it's um, black. Uh, and the new ones are orange. And this one is gonna be a black. You need to change these two both part numbers will be in the in the video description uh i would only get them from honda you can get them also like uh dorman also makes one makes a set for it as well um so oh let's uh get this one out here you, uh, you're gonna lose some power steering fluid so you'll also need to get some honda power steering fluid uh or Honda compatible fluid. I use the Lucas one with uh, seal conditioners. Um, uh, uh, you can get it, uh, you know, many many different places. So uh, let's go. Ten millimeter bolt that we're talking about that's hard to get to is that one that you see there. I uh, uh, you can only get to it with a box wrench, um, and you may have to move a little bit of uh, this stuff out of the way. This power. Uh, some of these, um, just move it a little bit out of the way. Okay. Okay, this is kind of the only way you're going to be able to get to it. i got a box wrench, 10 millimeter. I wish it was a little bit longer. Um, <clears throat> got the box in on the nut down there, and then you got to, of course, turn it to the left to loosen it up. And that, uh, I may not be able to get much of uh, me moving the bolt, but we'll see. Hopefully, uh, and uh, don't lose it. <laughs> Uh, if not, if you lose it, you get a magnet on a stick. <laughs> this shouldn't be. <sighs> Oops. Got it out. It's a little tricky at times. You had, I had to use two hands. Um, to, you know, after you get it broke loose, you can uh, spin it with your hands. But it, it, then you had to use both hands. Then when you get to this, I basically undid it kind of just let it lay on the rag then to get it out i just use my magnet on a stick and that got that just get me out so i can put it in my mag bowl now i'm gonna pull it out uh power string fluid's gonna go a lot of places uh make sure you've got rags around it so uh it uh doesn't uh harm anything or get on your belts uh and then we'll go ahead and place the o-ring the next one the other one is this one which is a lot easier you get these two bolts hey. you got these two bolts here um, but this one you're gonna pull out be careful this is plastic um, and then we'll get to the o-ring I got it out and the o-ring stayed in there sometimes it'll it will or is this it will stick up there. You need to clean that off and get the o-ring out with a pick. Be careful not to scratch when you got the o-ring out. Here. There it is. There it is. With my pick. Now I gotta uh, put the new ring o-ring in. You're going to um, make sure it is wet with power steering fluid and then you're gonna just put it on. You're gonna put it on the... Um, you're gonna put it on this guy here first, not in there. What I got here, this is the old one. 
squeeze it like that. And the new one, I can feel that the new one's a little bit more pliable. So we're gonna uh, put some power steering fluid on this and then what I'm put doing it on here. I'm, I've got just a little cap full of uh, power steering fluid. I'm just gonna wet the O-ring and then I'm gonna roll it on. I've got the O-ring on with a little bit of power steering fluid there. Now I'm gonna push it back on. A little tip is so you is to go ahead and align this bolt up with the hole for it so you can kind of push it in and then you can kind of push it in by uh tighten it up by hand before uh, at first uh, otherwise you can lose this and i probably will <laughs> um i actually dropped my wrench twice uh, got it in there um it's really difficult uh, something I did have to do, I had to empty, uh, suck out some of the power steering fluid so it was above this line, uh, uh, some of it out, uh, so it was above this high point so when, uh, as I pulled, the, um, pulled this up and down, power steering fluid would come out. So I did empty out that much with a turkey baster. I can always add, you know, I can put some more in which I will have to do and uh, threaded it in there and eventually got it uh, you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing because it, it, it's I couldn't even see what I was doing I was doing all I fear feel now the easy one is this one and that will be the black o-ring And I got it out and there it is and you see there's the owner we're gonna be replacing you got to be really careful don't scratch this one we'll use a um, pick to get that off got that o-ring off I ended up having to break it after I got it got it uh, hooked up with a, a pick same thing we uh we clean the area and then we um wet this o-ring and the area we, uh where this is going to go we lubricate it with uh, power steering fluid honda compatible or honda power steering fluid so we're gonna top off our power steering uh fluid use only honda fluid or honda compatible fluid this is a what I just, what I'm using, because it's got the sealer conditioners, uh, it is a Honda approved product. Um, so it's for all power steering systems. So just top it off to the top, to the full line. And then you're going to start the car to look for leaks, but also you need to, uh, any kind of uh, mess you made with a, a power steering fluid, especially if it could be on the belt, clean it up before starting. And of course now I'm checking for leaks. A little juicy because I, I had a lot of leakage from when I took it off but uh, I don't see any leaks I have turned it lock to lock I topped off the power steering fluid I'm gonna have to get another bottle just so I can keep it in the car uh, but uh, this looks like a success hopefully uh, I won't get that squealing anymore that noise you're hearing every now and that squeaking it's been that way for years it's something to do with the belt um, 
to see belt noise. So I can ignore that. It goes away after the car's warmed up. Till later, next time tubes, another successful repair. Hopefully you can do this too. Part numbers for this are going to be in the uh, video description. Later.